Today you're going to be learning specifications. Welcome to Construction Cronies. My name is Chris Conkle and today I'm going to be teaching you Division 9 and how to understand the specifications book. In my opinion, the spec book is the single most important thing that you can need to understand. The reason being is it is very it is higher than the drawings in the hierarchy of contract documents. In the hierarchy of things it goes contract specifications and drawings last video we went over the drawings so this video we're going to be going over the specifications you guessed it next video will be on the contracts so right away i'm going to jump over to my screen okay so here's the document here are the specifications opened up in nitro pdf the front cover will have job information job number site address and all those things uh issued for tender 2017 09 18 so there'll be a closing date and thing here this is volume one of two of the architectural specifications so you'll have electrical mechanical and so on as well we're going to jump uh, down here tells you the consultants information all, anybody you need to contact for information will be on the on the front few pages of the book uh, how it works is this is a master format and what master format is is it standardizes specifications across all the construction projects so the divisions are are kind of reserved for each trade we'll say division zero here being procurement and contract requirements uh so here you go instructions for procurement and so on and so on this stuff is all very important to every trade so that's why it's in division zero and division one the general requirements even summary of work and so on right administrative requirements quality requirements so all this stuff and so on and so on and so on right uh, this is important to know if you're bidding a job or pricing a job because you need to know how much time it's going to take you to do the administration side of the job right so there'll be meetings there'll be documentation you got to take care of safety documentation all these things so you need to know this stuff uh to also like to price these jobs so you know how much it's gonna it's gonna cost you uh, if we go down to division two, existing conditions, uh, division three, concrete, four, masonry, five, metals, you get the idea. We're going to jump down to division nine, uh, which is gypsum board. So for drywall, this is very, very important. So 0929 is the section that we're going to go to in this specific book. If we jump to uh, Division 7 for thermal and moisture protection, it is also an important section to know uh, because it'll give us, sorry, right here, Division 7 gives us the, um, the types of caulking and uh, poly and insulation we need to use. So that'll uh, be referenced back here from the drawings. So when you when it says a certain type in the drawings like semi-rigid, you come back here to find out what products are specified for semi-rigid. Okay, you get what I'm saying? Uh, at any time, ask me any questions down in the comments below and I'll answer all of your questions. Uh, I'll, I'll answer them within 24 hours. So make sure you uh, answer, ask me anything you'd like down in the comments. Division nine is the section number. We have the section name as well. So we're going to jump down to 0929. Yeah, once we get out of the table of contents here, it'll start having the the numbers will start appearing right here. So 000115, right? Uh, and then the, the section name, list of drawing sheets. So we want 0929, right, for drywall or gypsum board. So we're going to jump down to, I already know the page number, so we're not going to scroll. It's 538 here. We're going to jump to that page and boom, section 92900. Now, that's how you find your space in the book. It's very simple to understand. The, it doesn't go by page number. It goes by section number, okay? So make sure you got the right section number and the right name. So this is it. You It goes oh, related sections right here. So like I was saying, fire stopping, painting, finishing, joint sealants, uh, patient room sealing, access hatches, hollow steel frames, blah, blah, blah. Right. So these are the related sections. These division seven right there, seven for thermal moisture protection. Uh, this will gives you a list of standards that your materials need to meet. It's uh, very, it's pretty simple. Uh, you're going to go with major suppliers and they're going to have the right, you're, you just need to know the right type of drywall. Okay. Because it's going to be type X, type C, or whatever. Uh, coordination is important. Like, for example, here, the construction manager is to schedule coordination meetings with the representatives of the various user groups and the prime consultant to verify the location of all wall-mounted equipment uh, and components in order to allow accurate location of in-wall blocking. So there's backing. So there's 
coordination that needs to happen here, right? Uh, it's which takes time. You need to know that when you're pricing the job, and you also need to know that as a foreman so you don't go ahead and start closing up the walls, right? Uh, the submittals are things you need to submit about the product. So product data, uh, submit electronically, manufacturers printed product literature, specifications and data sheets. Uh, this is just all the stuff you need to submit to the general contractors to go into the project manual. So this thing all takes time, right? So you need to know what you're gonna be submitting. Uh, delivery, storage and handling. A uh, waste management is important because separate waste materials for recycling in accordance with section 17419, waste management and disposal means that it's probably going for a lead certification so you need to put in the extra time because you have to separate your materials drywall and steel and so on okay so that's important and important to know uh the gypsum board itself it'll tell you exactly what size like what types of drywall you're going to need of course by four feet wide and the heights will be specified as per the drawings it'll it'll also uh reference that in the drawings okay so you know that uh, you're covered that way uh the fire rated board right here just type x and it's telling you want uh, five eighths type x moisture resistance board same thing five eighths and um that's that's the paperless glass mat on both faces, right? So you got to know the type of board that you're pricing, okay? Uh, shaft wall assembly, base of wall foam filler, and uh, this is specified in section 0792. You better go back and check that section to make sure that it's not like everywhere, okay? Because that's an additional cost, and you could, in a big building, you could lose your shirt over something like that if you had to caulk the bottoms of all the walls, right? Because that's happened before I've seen it. Um, it's framing members, it's going to tell you what types of track it's going on, and furring, shaft wall framing, all that. Um, it's kind of neat to know because you're going to want to, uh, as a drywaller, look at the framing underneath to make sure it's it's uh, up to specification, right? Like that it's matching. You don't want to close things up that are, are wrong, right? Um, it will tell you like double studs where you know in the doors and the windows and things like that at the ends of walls so you need to you need to plan for that ahead right you need to order the right amount of studs for that but that's for the steel stud framing i'll be going over that more detail in another video um suspended ceiling uh system components let's so t-bar it'll tell you what types of tie wire all the stuff you need to know for that um even it'll tell you um like look powder action fasteners to underside a concrete uh, um, power actuated fasteners to underside a concrete structure are not permitted drilled only that's important to know right because drilling takes more time if you understand what i'm saying so it's really important to dig into the specifications and understand everything related to your trade and um, things you need to coordinate with other trades make sure you take a peek at it and see what that's all about right so you know exactly how much time it's going to take you to do this job like right here see uh 3.2.2, right? So if you're doing an RFI or anything like that, you would reference the actual line. So say, oh, I don't understand this uh, section, this this actual specification. So you're gonna go uh, in section 3.2.2, installation of steel framing, okay? I don't, you. it says that provide double studs, minimum one millimeter material thickness at partition openings, door and interior window jams and end of walls. Provide a single one millimeter thick at all outside corners, okay? So that's important to know because you need to have the right amount of studs. And when you're, if you're drywalling, you got to take a look at that sort of thing to make sure that's done correctly, right? Uh, there's nothing worse than more uh, rework, okay? So integral wall backing, so that tells you exactly uh, what you're looking for. You're not gonna know where the backing goes. That's why this has to be coordinated, okay? Uh, but it says here where the plywood will not work, then you can use, uh, it's saying steel, like sheet steel right here, right? right sheet steel backing uh, for areas or space limitations, okay? So it's simple as that, right? Frame openings for fire stopping. It'll give you one hour, two hour for certain things. Uh, you need to know uh, how to achieve that, right? Um, so that will be, that's another video itself. But uh, so here, after installation of all in-wall mechanical and electrical services and prior gypsum board installation, notify the CM to have the mechanical and electrical consultants perform an in-wall review view to verify the installation of the same so that's not an inspection okay that is uh, to verify that the installations were correct so that's something you need to do before you start closing up the walls and it goes into furring which uh, a lot
lot of drywallers will do furring, so that check out that. Um, and then installation of metal frame suspended ceilings. It's going to tell you how to support it and all that stuff. Acoustic treatment. Um, a lot of drywallers will do the, some caulking and things like that as well. So check it out. Right. It'll also tell you um, how to cut around penetrations and things like that, what they're looking for. Sometimes it'll give you an exact number. I've been on jobs where it'll give you an exact number for different types of pipes, right? Because they have inserts, different sizes of inserts or stuff like that that they use. So yeah, you got to know what type of pipe it is and you'll have to go like a quarter inch, an eighth or half inch or one inch. You know what I'm saying, okay? Like it's specified per pipe. So you got to really dig into the specifications and understand what you're using. It's going to tell you what types of screws to use with what types of board and types of steel or wood. It's, it tells you everything. Okay. And if there's something missing out of the specifications, then you put in an RFI to get the answers. But that's simple as that. If you have any questions about the specifications, make sure you leave them down in the comments guys is, and if you're new to the channel, get subscribed right down below and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss when I go live every Friday night and Sunday morning. I upload videos at least once a week, guys. So get subscribed, hit that bell notification icon, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.